Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be a different video from my usual uploads, but I wanted to branch out with my content. As you guys probably know me from my plays, I'll be uploading a mini series of tutorial about how to do certain texts or techniques, which you see commonly in my videos and clips. This flashlight tutorial will be the foundation of that series essentially, and I'll be teaching the basic flashlight timings like ground, locker, and grab saves. But yeah, let's get into it. So first things first, you need to understand how saving works. In order to flashlight save, you need to stun the killer. You can't just save at any given moment. During pickup animations, the killer is immune to stuns, but if they're not in an animation, they can just look away from your flashlight. So with that being said, you need to blind or stun the killer the moment they come out of that animation. For the most part, you need to be precise. However, due to latency, you can get some saves that look really late or the killer turns away. This won't affect your saves as long as you did it at the proper time. I'm not going to dive too far into the stats of flashlights, but I will put a list of good and bad add-ons on the screen. The only real takeaway from it is that you should only really be using batteries and low amp filaments. The best flashlight you can use is a purple flashlight with a green battery first, and then a low amp filament in the second slot. For any other flashlight, double batteries will give you the most charges. Now that we have that out of the way, let's get on how to flashlight save. Personally, I go by animation, but many people go off their gut feeling. For a normal pickup, you want to start your blind right when the killer begins hoisting the survivor up onto their shoulder. Something to note is that all killers have the same pickup animation. Shorter killers look a little bit different visually, but it's still the same timing. Now onto grab saves. Grab saves, like normal saves, are universal among all killers. Grab saves apply to all interactions like doing a generator, cleansing a totem, opening a chest, slow vaulting a window or a locker, and resetting a pallet. To get a grab save, you need to start blinding right before the survivor hits the killer's shoulder. The only exception being pallet grab saves. Pallet grab saves have two separate animations, one of which is the standard grab timing, and the other being a completely different timing. For standard timing, the slow vault needs to be from the same side as the killer. For the alternate version, it must be a slow vault from the opposite side of the killer, resulting in a pull animation rather than a grab. Finally, we have locker saves. Locker saves are the strongest of the three types of saves. Strategies revolving around lockers can potentially win games. Similar to grabs, you can also start blinding right before the survivor hits the killer's shoulder. A lot of good players also use the sound of the locker as a cue to blind. I'll play it again so you can hear the sound. It's very situational, but Iron Maiden affects the timing as well. Just start the blind as the survivor is being pulled out of the locker. And one last note about locker saves. If the killer is playing on stretch resolution, you will most likely not be able to locker save. Is kids making a flashlight save tutorial? <laughs> I can't even. <laughs> I couldn't even vault. Oh, 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 what? Hello, what? Dude, the new tech. The new, we just discovered the new tech. Wait, what? What? Wait, what? we gotta, dude. We gotta land that. What? Into what? A <laughs> it. I'm. Who said? It's okay, man. It's okay. <laughs> 